In a place where the sun never seems to let go, and the desert stretches out like a sandbox, something truly amazing is happening. The mysterious makeover of the Dead Sea. It used to be a huge, empty space, but now it's come to life in a way that blows everyone's minds. Think back to a long time ago when the idea of the Dead Sea being a busy place would have sounded crazy. But guess what? Nature had its own plans. After many, many years of moving around and shaking things up, the Dead Sea got a second chance. About 10,000 years ago, it started looking the way it does now, snuggled between the Jordan Rift Valley and the dry hills of Israel and Jordan. Now let's zoom in and talk about the science behind this amazing change. The geography here is like a stage for a huge show. The Dead Sea is sitting lower than any other place on Earth, like the ultimate pit stop in a global race, around 430 meters below sea level. It's like a natural invitation for people from all over the world to come and experience being at the lowest point on Earth. But what makes the Dead Sea super special is its unique makeup. It's not just the low spot that's interesting. The water itself is packed with a crazy amount of minerals. The sea's salt and mineral levels are really high, about 10 times more than regular ocean water. There's stuff like magnesium, calcium, and potassium in there. And they're like the superheroes of the sea because they're known for helping with healing. When folks go for a dip, they find out something awesome. The salt in the water makes it super easy to float, even easier than floating in your bathtub. The water is denser than our bodies, so we end up floating like corks on a calm sea. People's faces light up with surprise and laughter as they realize they're floating around without even trying. Now let's talk about the visitors who aren't just here to float around, but also to pamper their skin. They dive into a tradition of putting on mud rich in minerals found by the shoreline. It's like a huge sandbox for grown-ups. And they believe this mud is like a secret potion for amazing skin, like a spa day, but with mud. And guess what? They're not wrong. This mud has a unique recipe that's great for the skin. It's like a magical potion from the depths that cleanses and refreshes. As you walk along the edge of the water, you'll see these beautiful salt crystals left behind by the water as it evaporates. They shine like diamonds. Imagine nature showing off its jewelry, creating patterns that are like nature's art gallery. These shapes are like the footprints of water's journey, showing how tough and beautiful the sea can be. Wow. Yes, yes, yes. We say that if you bring all the leaders of the world and put them in the Dead Sea for a week, it might look different. Now let's peel back the layers of time to uncover the Dead Sea's historical tapestry. Ancient civilizations were drawn to this mesmerizing body of water. The Egyptians saw its potential for mummification rituals, and the Romans, well, they dipped their toes and marveled at the buoyancy, playfully naming it the Sea of Asphalt. The historical significance doesn't stop there. Biblical tales come alive on the shores of the Dead Sea. It's said that the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah met their fiery fate in its vicinity. And who can forget Lot's wife, turned into a pillar of salt as she looked back at the city. The very land whispers these stories as you stand on its shores. One of the most epic tales revolves around the fortress of Masada. In 73 CE, a group of Jewish rebels made their last stand against Roman forces on this mountain plateau. With determination and desperation, they held out for years until ultimately choosing death over slavery. Their story stands as a testament to human resilience. Fast forward to today, and the Dead Sea is more than just history. It's a cultural cornerstone. Annual mud festivals unite locals and visitors in a vibrant celebration of the sea's legendary minerals. Layla, a local artist, beams as she says, Mud isn't just mud here. It's a canvas of traditions. We paint ourselves with history and let it cleanse our spirits. The Dead Sea's significance extends beyond the surface. It's a lifeline for the communities nestled along its coastlines. Ahmed, a fisherman whose family has cast their nets here for generations, shares, Our lives are entwined with the rhythms of the sea. It provides not just fish, but a sense of identity and purpose. Fishing, you say? Well, don your imaginary scuba gear because this ain't your typical fish tank. You'd think the Dead Sea's salt levels would scare off any self-respecting fish, right? Wrong. Meet the Dead Sea tilapia, the underwater daredevil that has cracked the code to survival in these salty waters. Oh, but the Dead Sea's aquatic menagerie doesn't stop at just one fish. 
Say hello to the swanky-looking tooth carp, another underwater resident that takes salt in stride. This fish has mastered the art of sashaying through the sea's super salty waters, living a life that's both fabulous and fishy. Now prepare to meet the aptly named Dead Sea Killifish, the daredevil of fishdom that has evolved to survive the saltiest slapstick this sea has to offer. This little fish knows how to turn salty lemons into, well, not exactly lemonade, but you get the idea. Speaking of the desert, let's talk about the flora and fauna that call this salty paradise home. Imagine plants that have mastered the art of sipping the saltiest cocktails in town without flinching. Enter the Samphire, a supercharged shrub that thrives on the sea's saltiness, proving that it's not just fish that can be salty and proud of it. Then there's the Salicornia, a plant that's as tenacious as a bulldog with a bone. It's got a knack for turning the seemingly inhospitable into its personal playground. This plant laughs in the face of adversity, boasting that it can grow where others fear to tread, or rather, to secrete. Now let's talk about the airborne visitors to this salty haven. Birds, my friends, birds. Imagine the sky painted with the graceful silhouettes of soaring white pelicans. These elegant creatures look like they've just stepped out of a high-end fashion shoot strutting their stuff while casually scooping up fish. And who could forget about the dapper kingfishers? With their vibrant plumage, they're like the peacocks of the avian world, flying through the Dead Sea region with a dash of whimsy and a splash of color. Last but not least, the star-studded glossy ibises. These are the A-listers of the avian migration scene, gracing the Dead Sea with their presence and style. Their long bills and sleek profiles make them look like the James Bonds of the bird world, navigating their way through the salty shores like true secret agents. Yet beyond the scientific spotlight, a tragedy unfolds. The Dead Sea's decline is a tale scripted by human hands. Reduced inflow from the Jordan River leaves it gasping, its shores receding like a fading memory. Minerals are extracted, altering the sea's very essence. Basically, you see, you see the layers. You see, literally, the layers. Yeah. Thousands of years. Yeah. Amidst the research and revelations, this dying narrative lingers as a stark reminder. Even nature's wonders are not immune to our actions. The Dead Sea's silent plea urges us to rewrite its fate, a call to preserve, protect, and breathe life back into its salt-laden waters. As we conclude our incredible journey through the captivating wonders of the Dead Sea, it's clear that this ancient and mystical place holds a treasure trove of stories, mysteries, and lessons for us all. From the miraculous buoyancy that allows us to float effortlessly, to the rich history echoing in its shores, the Dead Sea beckons us to explore, embrace, and respect its enduring beauty. Its waters have witnessed the rise and fall of civilizations, and its shores tell tales of resilience and human spirit. If you're captivated by today's wonders, hit subscribe and be part of our journey. Show your support by liking and sharing with fellow explorers. Reflect with us. What untold stories and hidden gems does our world hold? Share your thoughts in the comments and let's ignite imagination. Thank you, explorers, for joining this expedition. Together, we're shaping the future as we discover the extraordinary. Until our next adventure, keep exploring, keep questioning, and cherish our planet's wonders.